Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Photo tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over split toning and selective coloring. So when working with a raw image, like I have here, um, we can use the technique of split toning. So we're going to come over to the Tones panel and select split toning. Now I've selected a raw image that is uh, going to highlight these effects with a uh, a great effect. It is a little overdone and over dramatic, so most of your images will obviously not look like this if they're in RAW, but uh, I chose this image so that I can show you uh, how split toning works. So you can come over here under split toning and put up the highlight saturation and the shadows saturation, and then you can scrub through this bar here to choose your highlight and your shadows. So you can play around here, and this will create a split tone view, however you want. So you can obviously bring up and down the shadows and highlights, as well as play around with the balance of how you want these to play with each other. So maybe put it down a little, put it up a little, it's really up to you. now. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be this dramatic, but uh, this will be under your develop persona and in the tones panel. That is how you do split toning. Now, uh, what if you weren't working in RAW? What if you were just working in a regular uh, image here? So you can come up and uh, do selective color adjustment under layer, new adjustment layer, selective color adjustment and it will bring up the selective color panel. Now, if I unselect relative and just play around with some of these colors, as you can see, uh, it'll keep it relatively realistic and I'm under uh, reds right now. Uh, but if I select this, uh, I can really make it really quite dramatic as uh, you can go in and edit all of these colors to really fit your liking. And this will edit all of the individual colors that you have chosen uh, in the image. And maybe you want it a little more like that. You can go to greens, kind of adjust greens here. Make it a little uh, highly contrasted, and uh, you can even choose between different blend modes. For instance, here's Multiply, really kind of makes it look like a ashier color or more uh, orange. And you can even uh, affect the opacity over here of how you want your selective color to uh, be affected. So you can merge, delete, and reset, and add a preset for this. So there's a bunch of different things you can do. You can uh, change the blend options here. But uh, you can really just play around with selective color, but it really pinpoints what colors you want, and it can really bring them out and make them pop. Uh, so that is how you use split toning and selective color in Affinity Photo. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, comment below what you want me to do uh, tutorials on, as well as uh, give this video a like and subscribe for more Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer tutorials. Thanks for watching.